And now to the feature story. Moses Luneta is one of the freedom fighters who paid with his life for today's independence. Poshalala relieved the life of Luneta, who died at the tender age of 31, along with seven, seven policemen who had come to arrest him. Perhaps the history books on the struggle for freedom in Zambia are unfair or even selective because there's so much that happened which has not been documented. Or it may be that some of those who sat down to document this history were not privy to certain information or occurrences in some areas. Of course, it is not true that not everything that happened has to be inscribed into the annals of these journals, but there were instances, incidents, or events which cannot be ignored, like the one concerning Moses Luneta and his contribution to the freedom struggle. Thankfully, Luneta has not been forgotten in his hometown of Chavuma, northwestern province. Here in Chavuma, Luneta has been immortalized. This isolated burial site, now a national monument, lies opposite the district commissioner's office and just about 300 meters from where he drowned and died in the Zambezi River. But he does not lie here alone. Seven police officers who came from Kamfinsa in Kitwe to arrest him also lie buried here. The story of Luneta is a sad tale of an ultimate sacrifice on his part as he paid with his life. No wonder the name Luneta is now a folklore of the independent struggle here in Chavuma where he is revered. Friends and relatives, visitors and inquisitive minds come here now and again to pay homage to this grandson taken away so young. Peter Cheremu, 85, was a childhood friend of Luneta. And so was Aison Lufupa, 78. It was in these waters on that fateful day, on August 29, 1961, when Luneta, along with police officers, drowned when their boat capsized. For Cheremu, Luneta was a classmate. He was in standard four, me was in standard two. Then Mr. Luneta, after that one, he went to Chitokoloki, where he got his standard six. And then from there, he went to Livingstone, where they started now joining the, uh, the, uh, the struggle for independence. He came here. He was born in 1930. He had a, a wife. He left uh, three children. Lufupa remembers Luneta differently as they held various positions in UNIP. Luneta was said to have been instrumental in organizing civil disobedience in Chavuma, which annoyed the British colonialists. So they captured or arrested the Nelson Kapaku, who was constituency chairman. Arrested the Jula, arrested the Benoit Sandu, our treasurer of the constituency. Then Blaim Longesa our branch chairman of Chingi. Then they crossed to Makinjila, this side of the river. Picked him and his brother, July Masumba, who was our branch chairman for Makinjila branch. Going, it was all very okay. But when coming, the, the boat in which they were traveling capsized. Just where we are, near where we are, or opposite where we are. Then he died with seven policemen, including a white man who was an inspector. Roger Sakuuka is another freedom fighter who recalls the exploits of Luneta. He served as member of parliament for Zambezi, provincial minister, Zambia's first tourism minister, and deputy speaker of the National Assembly. For him, Luneta's sacrifice should be recognized countrywide. Can you imagine he was caught, chained, put in a, in a boat, crossing the base, and the boat capsized, and that's how he died. Together with some police officers, that's how he died. So a man like that dying for the country, it was great. And people should remember him up to any time that we live in this country. But unfortunately, I don't hear of anybody, even during Freedom Day, people talk about Runet and so on and so forth. I don't hear that. But obviously, he was a great young man who had fought, and his life got lost just at that time.
as a way of remembering the freedom fighter, government maintains this memorial site in his honor. Even major local government functions are held at this site. Luneta is being remembered in so many ways. During independence every time, we always normally have our uh, celebration, independence celebration, near the same statue where our elder uh, brother was put to rest. The eight Northern Rhodesia police officers who perished along with Luneta have also been honored elsewhere. Seven of the officers who drowned in the Zambezi River were from the School of Public Order at Kamfinsa in Kitwe. A plaque has been erected in Kamfinsa in their memory and a clinic there named Chavuma in their honor. As for Runeta, much more has been done in Chavuma to keep his legacy alive. Two schools, a primary and secondary school, carry his name. Poshalada, ZMBC News in Chavuma, Northwestern Province. And now in the center of the city of Kitwe stands